My name is Chuck Driscoll. I'm precision farming specialist with Titan Machinery. I've been with the company for almost eight years. Um, today we're going to talk about going in through the 2020 and the benefits of adding a 2020 to co-control with the 2000 series planters. Majority of our customers do add the 2020 basically for, for more information. You can see things better, you can see problems, you can diagnose things. Uh, the mapping functions, we're going to go into those things on the 2020 here. Uh, basically the Gen 3 2020 does a real nice job of displaying everything. Um, these screens are 100% customizable. Uh, you, can, you can add, you can remove things from it and set it up the way you like it. Um, here on the screen, we're looking at the screen, we, you, can, you can watch your population, singulation, which is seeds per holes in the disc, basically. You're not having any skips, you're not having multiples, your, your singulation percentage should be up in that 99% range. Your downforce, ground contact, and then we have over here on this side, we have our skips and multiples, our vacuum, good ride, and our V-Drive population and swath control, and Delta Force status. Um, down here is more of a, a mini chart where we can dig into and look into things like population. It shows a, a row by row population chart. If we were planting, it'd be showing uh, bar graphs going for, for those rows and, and how the population's coming out on those rows. You can select uh, singulation. You can go through different parts of here and look at your skips and multiples per row so you can break it down and look at individual rows. Your delta force will be the same way. Good ride, that's your row unit bounce on the, on the row units. And your seed release index. Uh, the thing that customers really like about the 2020 in the cab is being able to diagnose issues a lot better. It kinda, the 2020 does a great job of pinpointing where the issue's at for diagnosing. Um, so here if we go in on the monitor into our setup, Diagnostics, well, let's go back quick. You can see all the row units are green except 14's red. So we can dig into the diagnostics. We have our all three of our systems and we see we have an issue with the seating. We have a color legend down here that will explain everything from all these components. These are the three components that are on this planter. Our seating, our V-Drive, our downforce, delta force, and our DBM, display base module. Um, Green is showing everything's good and working. Yellow is a device is not 100% functionable. Red is expected but not detected. White is detected but not expected. Black is disabled. Gray is not ready. Device is being detected, updating firmware, or unreachable. So that, that, that's nice to have a chart that'll show you what the problem is, what, what the communication issue is. We can go into each one of these individual systems on this planter. We see we have a red, so we have a problem with our seating or our V-Drive. Um, we have a Delta Force. We can go into our Delta Force, our SRM load cells underneath there. The, the Gen 3 2020 with the, new, the latest software breaks it down into three steps for troubleshooting, so we can go into our Delta Force. We're looking at our solenoids and our load cells. We can see our load cell pounds, our solenoid voltage, and we can scroll down and look at every single row. Everything's happy there, it's green. We can dig into our SRM. We can look at our supply volts into each one of our SRMs throughout the planter, and everything looks good there. Implement can airs. If there's any percentage of growing can airs on row units, uh, seed sensors you can see are all detected, seed count. We can look individually into the load cell, readings per pound, active status for every row unit. And we can see we had an issue on our seeding. So we can go into that seeding, we see our SRM's green and everything's good there. We have an issue with our V-Drive. So if we go into the V-Drive, everything's green, looking good, supply volts, and then we get down to 14. So to dig deeper into that, we can look at our system schematic and scroll down to our row 14. We see we got red on there. We got an issue in our V-Drive. 
Well, at this point, you could get right out of the cab after looking at that and go look at row unit 14 and see what the status is of the light on the V-Drive. I'm guessing it's going to be off. So that's what customers really like about this is being able to dig into it, diagnostic, and kind of pinpoints everything, gives you a better idea of what's going on. Um, a lot of guys will have, most everybody that puts a 2020 in their cab will have a field view module with an iPad connected to it, which is syncing this information directly from the 2020 to the iPad and gives you a high definition map. You can get, you can put, you can look at the maps for your population, anything that's basically on this home screen, your population, your singulation, your downforce, uh, your skips, multiples, uh, your good ride. You can look at, you can look at maps for all that stuff with the, with the iPad on the field view module. Um, some other things that we kind of have here, they're not real functionable right now, but um, we have our speed tube, which you can also get from factory. This is a more high speed, accurate, it's an accurate seed placement with high speed with the belts and how it grabs the seed, rides the belt down and individually drops those seeds in place. Um, this is our meter that we have on this planter. This is an M set that you can add to a row unit to do dual hybrids, it changes the hybrids. So you basically can be changing from an offensive to a defensive hybrid throughout the field and it transitions that on the meter. Um, this is our V-Apply HD for liquid. This is the uh, Smart Firmer. This is what goes in the dirt, in the seed trench. And it looks at your moisture, your temperature, organic matter, and that'll also create its its own map. So even if the guy has that on six rows, it'll map those six rows on the 2020. There's there's many other things that are aftermarket. Uh, some of the things here are are from factory. Guys really like to put this 2020 in their tractor co to co-control these 2000 series planters. As you can see, all the extra information and. In, uh, and diagnostics tools that the 2020 gives them.